Hi guys, good morning. I wanted to just make a really quick video. I'm already running late for work because my son's school bus picked him up late today. And um, sometimes I wish I could drive him to school, but his school is in Westchester County, which is outside the New York City area. And I just want to make it to work on time. So that's why I just have to bus pick him up. But I wanted to show you guys, this is a quick eye look I have done with the Pat McGrath Dark Star 006 Volume 3. Um, let me get this product. Hold on. See, this is my issue with this product. And this seems to be common even with the Dark Star 006 Volume 2 kit where when you put on the shade and then you put that gloss on top, it picks up some of the shadow. You see how there's like a, like you see some of my skin here when, and that's where I put that gloss at. So I'm just going to dip on this. And when I put it on top, actually it makes it a bit more vibrant. I think I'm just going to leave the gloss out, like not on top, that's what I mean. Because I really need to figure out a way as to how to put that gloss on and, and, then it not end up, and then for it to not end up picking up the shadow, increasing. You know what I'm saying? Because on Pat McGrath, they just demonstrate these models, them doing this look with the gloss, but it's not like they're showing us how it looks shortly after they apply it. You know what I'm saying? I wish they would do that because this is I'm, I'm experiencing the same problem as, as I experienced with the um, with the purple one. And I use my um, Pat McGrath black eyeliner. I smoked it under here a little bit, but then I also put some of that color under here as well. And then that Mahon liquid thing, I dipped my brush in this, dipped it in the shadow, and I created this graphic line here. Um, I feel like crap this morning. I really feel like crap. It's supposed to be bad weather here where I live in New York City. My, my son's bus was late. I'm just, this is starting off on not a good note. <laughs> Um, the red that I'm wearing is the Giorgio Armani, hold on, let me get that, is the Giorgio Armani Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade 420. This is from their Lip Mastro con um, collection. I like this red as well. Um, and I am wearing the Givenchy Foundation. I really like it. It is nice. Um, I always prep my skin in a way where it's it's moisturized, it's well well moisturized because this is a matte foundation, and I think it looks nice. I lightly powdered my face, and it doesn't. I don't think it looks cakey at all. It is a little um, darker than my actual complexion, but it's not bad. I I could do I could deal with this. I, this is something I could deal with. So it's a nice foundation. Just when I get the time, probably over the weekend, I'll do another eye look with this Pat McGrath Dark Star kit, and I'll use the Da Vinci. Uh, either I'll I'll use a Da Vinci, or by the time the weekend comes, I'm supposed to get my Danessa Myricks Yummy um, Skin um, Skin Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. If I do, then I'm also might make a video using that foundation with this Dark Scar, um this Pat McGrath thing, and doing a different eye look. But um, it is a very pretty color, this Dark Star Volume 3 one. It is very pretty, but it's just the gloss, that gloss. It looks pretty on top, but then within several minutes, it's like it picks up the shadow. And I don't think I have hooded eyes, you know what I mean? So I don't understand. I just need to figure out how, not how to put on the gloss, but when you put on the gloss, for it to stay for more than 10 minutes and not pick up the shadow or kind of like move around and I'm using different primers and I you know I'm gonna send a message to Pat's team to see if they can give me some tips I am willing to learn because this is that's what I'm not liking about it but the shadow by itself is just as pretty without the gloss I'm just gonna put a little bit more here you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But let me get going, guys. I'm already late for work. I just told my supervisor that. Have a beautiful, um, I was about to say Thursday. I wish it was Thursday. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Bye.